Eric J. Dolan. And you wrote a book called? Leviathan, The History of Whaling in America. Can you tell me a little bit about the book? The book covers the entire history of whaling in America from the early 1600s through the early 1900s. And it's basically everything you ever wanted to know about whaling, but either were afraid to ask or hadn't thought about asking. That's wonderful. How did you get interested in it? Uh, about five years ago, I moved from Maryland to Marblehead, which was near the ocean. And I knew that I wanted to write a book about the ocean that had something to do with it. And one day I was looking at a box that is in my house that's painted with a primitive whaling scene. And that got me thinking about whaling. And I did some reading and discovered there's a fascinating whaling history in America. And that got me hooked on the idea. This is... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> this, is, take a picture of that. This, this is a tri works on board a whale ship and what you can see here is the wood fires beneath the iron uh, tr the iron pots uh, tri works here and they, what they would do is this blubber fork would be used to pitch blubber into the tri pots and the oil would be rendered from it siphoned off into the casks to cool off and anything that was left over the skin the meat, the integument would rise to the top of the tripods and would be scooped off by the whalemen. It was called cracklings. And they would feed it to the fire below to continue the fire, because after it began, they wouldn't use wood anymore. But they also would eat the cracklings, sort of an early American version of pork rinds. And I met somebody at one of my talks who has eaten it, and he thought it was quite good. Uh, I, can't, I cannot vouch for that. And what's, what's surprising is that even though there's a roaring fire on a wooden ship, it was very, very rare for a, a whale ship to catch fire.